Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon, and today we are discussing brothers and sisters. Run. Stay away. Get away. Move away from the bottomless pit of pornography, masturbation, any sexual sin, friend, we got to run. But the most, and I mean, friends, it's a fact. The number one addiction, that's what they call it, in America is pornography. It is everywhere. It is accessible, so easily accessible, my friend. And this is why many people are being taken captive because you underestimate the power of suggestion. And this is why the Spirit of God has branded, he has put down in my heart to cry aloud against immodest apparel because when a woman or a man is purposely, carelessly flaunting your curves, your cleavage, your backside, your front side, your beauty, your booty, you are throwing literally people into this bottomless pit and many are not going to make it out because friend, you got to understand the dangers when you click on a video, when you keep entertaining ungodly television, ungodly friendships, ungodly attire, ungodly people, ungodly conversation. Some of you, you continue to have conversation with men and women who you know are nothing but big flirts and you wonder why your loins are not locked down and you can't keep it down and you are not able to pick up your cross daily because you entertain the darkness. You entertain people who are sexual. Friends, we have to be ruthless about our salvation. You must get away from this bottomless pit. It will take your soul straight to hell. Pornography is nothing to play with, my friend. Whatever it takes to break that thing off of your life, do it. Do it. Ladies, I can't say it enough. Comb your closet and get rid of all that sexy. Come on, sisters and brothers. Guard your heart with all diligence. Fight the good fight. And remember, the flesh can never, ever be satisfied. That's why you got to crucify it. It will always, always drag you to this darkness, my friend. It will never, ever be quenched. You can't quench lust. James chapter 4, resist the devil and he will flee from you. But you got to first submit yourself to God. You have to agree with God. The way you take is evil, it's wicked. Call it what it is. Don't call it an addiction. Call it what it is. It's wicked. You could get free, my friend. Don't wallow in despair. Don't wallow in shame. Don't wallow in I can't. You can. You must. And you will. When you lean on God and you keep crying out to God, resist the devil. Submit yourself, my friend, to God. Resist him. Read, study, eat James chapter 4 to it gets down in your spirit. Resist him. Get rid of some of those people in your cell phone. Delete some of them photographs in your phone. Get offline. Go away quietly and detox, my friend. You got this thing. I love you, my friend. You can do it. 
Till next time, my friend, run, get away from their bottomless pit of sexual immorality and deviance and debauchery and orgy. Get away, run. Get them apps off your phone, brothers. Get them apps off your phone. Get rid of your secret phone. Some of you got secret phones hiding from your wives, hiding from your husbands. Come on, brothers and sisters, run. Run. Jesus was crucified and he nailed pornography to the cross. God bless you, my friends. Till next time, I love you. More importantly, God loves you. And he already has done all that is necessary for you and I to overcome. Till next time, God bless.